Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers and to old friends. It's good to see you. What's going on with you? What did you do this week? Or rather, what did you do last week? Or what are you going to do next week? I hope it's something fun and colorful. Okay. What have I been up to? I'm still on a high from the cranking, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That home profit machine, that thing knits. The knitting was just so smooth. Oh, it was really, really awesome. I wouldn't mind if one followed me home. Um, what's going on? Let me see. Oh, I, I told you I was still on the high from the um, crank in. While I was at the crank in, the lady working on the home profit machine, she didn't have a ribber with her. So she was doing mock rib socks. I have always been a snob. It was like, rib or no rib, okay? Because everyone knows I love my little shorty cuff socks. I really love them. Which reminds me, when I first got into this, or was trying to get into this, there was a lady with a sock machine for sale. But and it was one of those sock machines that did not have a ribber, was not designed to have a ribber. And she was like, I can tell you how to make socks without the rib cuff at the top. I was like, mm, I don't think so. I passed on that. Worked out well. She sold the machine the next day to someone who didn't mind a machine without a ribber. Okay, and now I have three machines, each one has a ribber, so it's all good anyway. While I was there, the lady was doing mock ribs. I have never done a mock rib sock. I know, I was a snob. I was like, rib or no rib, okay? But I tried it and it came out nice. Probably because I also used, um, I made it a shorty. Let me show you. I'm, I'm running my mouth. Let me show you. See, it's a shorty. I haven't closed the toe yet. I have a train trip to take this week. I'll close it while I'm on the train trip. But isn't this gorgeous? This is uh, one of the Croy sock yarns. And I am so pleased. And let me brag. Look how the heel came out. I did it. No, I didn't. The machine did this. I did not plan this. But look at that. Oh, okay, this thing is throwing me off. It's recording, but the red light is... I was like, what's going on? Why is it... Okay, no problem. This came out really nice. And I'm so surprised because I caked the yarn, but um, when I did, I was not impressed by it. That goes to show you, you never know what you're going to get. This, I find, is much lovelier than some of the... um sock yarn that some of the other companies or some indie dyers do i mean these colors flow beautifully and look at the rib, look at the mop crib is that a dirt no what's that the answer nothing maybe the screen on my phone needs cleaning okay but i'm really i mean if i had planned this it wouldn't have happened but because i didn't look at that Okay, and the colors just, and the mock rib is down the front, so it's um around, okay, I did my, oh my goodness, the name of the, this cuff just went out of my head. Oh boy, I, I wonder which vitamin I now need. I'll get to that later. But I did the top here, and again, it's mock rib. It's a two- two by one so every you put two needles together skip one two needles yeah so i can't believe i've forgotten this name it doesn't matter i do this all my time all the time it's the same way i hide things from myself anyway it's a mock rib up here it's a mock rib here right where your ankle would be 
and then just down the front of the sock. The back of the sock, the heel, the toe, and the bottom is a full sock. Okay, all needles in work. And it came out really, really nice. And maybe it's because the colors are so nice. So now I won't be such a snob. I will make some more of these in the future. Or oh, it was a piece of fluff hanging out in there. I thought it was the camera lens. Okay, so this came out really, really nice. Now the question becomes, what would happen if I did this to a sock that came all the way to the knee? I have to test it and see, because I don't know, since it's not real rib, would it stay up? But you know what? It probably will. You know why? When you leave one needle out of work, it makes the circumference of the sock less. So this is tighter than you would think. I learned that the hard way. If you want to make a sock smaller, if you have a big cylinder, leave a needle out of work, the sock shrinks. But I'm really pleased with this. This came out nice. And since I'll be taking a train this week, I'll finish it on the train. So that I am pleased with. Okay. What else am I pleased with? Oh, I have been cleaning up. My house looks like a bomb went off in it. But I decided to clean out the big closet, the deep walking closet, because I figured I could put, if I clean it out, I can put more things in there. Boy, that has work. But it's cleaned out. So now I just, and I've started putting there two, four, six bins in there. I'm going to put some boxes, some flatbed knitting machines, some flatbed knitting machine covers, and some yarn. I'm going to see, I'm going to pack, I'm going to see what it can hold, and I'm going to pack it with as much as I can, as long as it remains neat. Okay? And I'm serious, because I even bleached the floor. I poured hot water, and I'm mopping and scrubbing. It looks good. Okay, and while I was doing that, what did I find? This. I know it's blinding white. This is something Viking of Norway, Alpaca Maya, luxuriously brushed for a soft touch. Oh, it is soft. Okay. You know. One of my aims is to make a sock that has a lot of loft. I don't know. Is this? Okay, hold on. Let's take a look. It's on the thin side. I'll try it by itself and see what it does. And then I'll try mixing it with something and see what it does. But I have like a dozen balls of this. I have no memory of ever having bought this. So this must be yarn that I bought pre-pandemic, okay? And I tucked it in that closet and completely forgot about it. So we know I'm chasing that lofty sock, so wish me well. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about something that no one ever talks about when they talk about using your circular sock machine. And what is that? Safety. A mask. This one is kind of beat up. It's old. It's from 2020. It's made of cloth. Someone made it for me, which is good. Um, while you're working on the circular sock machine, depending on the yarns you use, you may see a lot of um, a lot of the little what do you call those fluff. It breaks off and it surrounds the machine and on a sunny day you can see it in the air so to help protect your lungs so you don't breathe in too much of this grab an old mask you don't need an n95 okay you need something that you that's comfortable to breathe through and these old cloth masks work well okay especially this one was designed to have a filter put in Without the filter, it works well because all it's doing is keeping all that fluff from going down into your lungs. And it may not sound like much, but if you make lots of socks, 
if you make socks over a long period of time, you're breathing in all of that. No, that's not to say that the air quality we breathe is so great, but if you can do something to help your lungs, do so, okay? Let me hang this here so I can find it. And let's get back to socks. Yeah, which is interesting. I want to talk about socks. Do you know everyone is now asking me for hats? It's March. Why does anyone need a winter hat? And what hat do they want? They want the, um, the felted hat. I will make some of those over the summer. Okay, and they'll be ready for fall. But right now we're going into spring. I'm not making any winter hats. Let's get back to socks. Okay, so where am I? Ah, I decided, ooh, what was that? Oh, a rubber band. Okay, I am going to, well, how, how do I do this? Okay, let's pull out. Hope nothing falls off. Okay. Here I have the cuff of a sock, the leg of a sock. It's not very long. Okay. And I'm going to hand knit the heel. Why? I want to get a better understanding of how heels are constructed. We know um, Valerie Withington has those five or six sock heels on um, Ravelry, and they're great, okay? You just have to break down the instructions into amounts that you can understand. But I realize I really don't understand the construction of a heel, except for the short row. That's, that's a no-brainer to me. So I am going to test out a heel and I've got, I did the parts on the machine that I could. I've got my cuff, I've got a body, and I have some yarn, so I'm going to work on a heel. Then I'm going to, if I am successful, or when I am successful, I'll throw it back on the machine and do the foot and the toe, okay? Now, if you hear a lot of screaming, cussing, and carrying on, that's me. Yes, that's me, because I don't necessarily understand it the first time. So I get very vocal when I'm frustrated with my crafting. So if you hear that, just ignore it. That's just me. Okay. And that's one project. The other thing I want to do, and this one requires some pretend on my part. I found a pattern on Ravelry called Toe Up Socks with a Difference by Wendy Johnson. And I want to try it. I don't know if you can see this, but you see how the gusset is under the foot? And once again, I want to try it, and I'm doing it by hand because I, I would have no clue how to do this on the machine. Now, I put it on a circular, a nine-inch circular, but this might not be the best thing to use. So I've also got these handy, okay? I don't remember if these are higher, higher, or Aldi. It's one of them. It's probably higher, higher, because everybody knows I'm a higher, higher girl. I wish there were four of them, not three. Or were they four and did I lose one? I'm not sure. But I would have preferred four needles. So I am going to try out that heel. So I have two heels. So there may be a lot of the yelling and screaming and carrying on on my part. And I am prepared. Let me tell you, I have, is there any way to show you? Hold on a second. I have all these sock needles waiting. What I don't understand though is I buy needles in pairs. So this is a 2.5 nine inch circular. I can't find the other one, but I, I buy them in pairs. So I've stuck it somewhere. I had the same problem with the 1.5. I buy them in pairs and I know I bought two of these nine inch and I bought two 12 inch. Where did I put them? I don't know. What I'm hoping will save me in case I need more needles than those are these, my prim needles. Okay, I've got 
2.5 mm and I see some other needle in here. I don't remember what it is. Oh, I even see a higher, higher short. See, it pays to pick up stuff. Okay, so wish me luck. I'm going to try and do this. Ah, oops, a needle just fell. So when I'm done, I'm going to have to get down there and find my needle. And then I need to find out there's obviously a hole down here and I need to be careful because I don't want to lose my needles. I have spent too much money on needles. Okay, so that I think should occupy me for the next bamboo. Where are my bamboo needles? I see a, hmm, I had it a minute ago. See, oh no, 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 it's in the sock. I was just gonna say, I've lost that too. Actually, there's another one missing. As I said, I buy needles in pairs, but that's all right. I am, I am determined to do this. Wish me luck, just like I wish you luck in your upcoming projects this week. And I must tell you, I probably won't be here next Sunday because I'm supposed to be spending the weekend somewhere else. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. In the meanwhile, I will miss you and I look forward to seeing what you do while I'm gone. Till next time, take care. Bye.